How but Fort you get Corman, there? I, I had I, I I had an idea of film. I was working as a machinist. Then I worked as a school bus uh, mechanic. I, I worked as a precision tool and die uh, maker. I worked as a, a truck driver. It was all blue collar jobs. I was going to, to college studying astronomy and then I switched to an English major because my math wasn't good enough. I knew I was never gonna make it as a, as a scientist. So I thought I better switch to something I know I can do which is tell stories. So I, then I'm, now I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll be a writer. I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. So when I got to work on my first Roger Corman film, I didn't tell them that I would have happily paid them for the opportunity. Is that the one they fired you from? Well, they fired me twice, but <laughs> I, I still came back. <laughs> yeah, Roger Corman <laughs> fired me twice, but he couldn't get rid of me that easily. Uh, somebody else just hired me back because they knew that th they needed what I was doing that you don't have to have a degree in engineering to make a movie in the, the 21st century. What you need is some actors and a camera and a good crew. And that hasn't changed for well, 100 years. No, not only that, there's something that has changed because um, there's, w w growing up in Mexico, I'm sure that you, 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 you grew up, you grew up in Canada. And is this thing that the, the, in my generation in Mexico, Making a film was something that was so unattainable, so far away, so difficult, so expensive. It was like a white elephant that it yeah, was impossible exactly. to yeah. find. And in, in my mid-20s, I started to set my, uh, my sights on being a filmmaker. Um, and the thing that inspired me was actually seeing Star Wars. So that must have been uh, 1977, so 